Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is not about aquariums. It's about welcome to the Nagoya Maritime Museum. Check that out. So, I'm not going to be just doing all aquarium videos on Aquatics Planet. If you ever looked at my description, look at that. It says, uh, the port of Nagoya, Japan's largest international trading port. Check that out. Port of Nagoya features Japan's first automated container uh, terminal. Here it is. Model of the first automated container terminal. So, like I was just saying, let me get back to that. On this channel, I'm going to be doing more than just aquariums and showing off fish. I want to do other aquatics activities. In my uh, description, I say that this channel's heart is the aquarium, the heart of the channel, but I'm going to be doing more. And this is one of the examples. Check that shit out. This is one of the examples of what I'm going to be doing on this channel. So make sure you guys uh, subscribe. You don't want to miss stuff like this either. Check this out. That's the regular shipping routes and major ports of call for container shipping or ships. This is where I am. The red dot, Nagoya and follow it along this is where i'm from and check this out so i'm trying to navigate around people i don't want to get them in the shot check that out cruise ship model it's really nice so on this channel like i just said or i was just explaining i want to do all sorts of things in the aquatics world and shipping containers and shipping museums like this these are all educational uh oh don't forget the quarantine inspection for human diseases you need to do that for a uh, plant quarantine and animal quarantine all little educational things some uh, insects you can look up closely container shipping uh, cargo handling so like I said I hope you enjoy stuff like this too check that out try not to get the people too much sometimes it can't be helped this is like where you are uh, Take control of a not almost virtual but not virtual reality ship. Here we have over here, we have some really cool ships in the bottles. I really like ships in the bottles. I would love to be able to make them. Have, do you, any of you guys make ships in the bottles? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like ships in the bottles? These will make great fish room decorations. Mm, that's a nice uh, sailboat. Over here is a whole lot of car parts. They ship around the world. Whole cars that they ship. All about shipping. Shipping containers. This place is really cool. Other types of uh, rock and grain. It's like different types of substrate right there. Hey, uh, some kind of uh, fruits and vegetables over there. Okay, let's quickly go up. Car engines. Let's go up here. Second floor, let me show you what, got, what they got up there. Oop. Oh yeah, this place has got some good stuff to show you. Here's the, a look at the Nagoya port. Alright, let's take a look over here. Try to avoid the people as much as possible. 
Nice old map. Looks really cool. Another old map. Old navigation. Navigational tools, I'm guessing. I mean, I'm not an expert on ships, of course. Check that out. It's like the evolution of boats or something. Raft. Carved out just like a canoe or a rowboat. And the boats got better and improved. Got more fancy. Of course, these are all models, but probably modeled after the real thing. Oh, the museum's gonna close soon. All right, check that out. These ships just got better and better. This one's interesting. Look at that one, 1874? This is an 1874 ship. All right, all different stuff that they would uh, trade and ship around the world. Oh, here's a picture of uh, under the ocean, perhaps where they dug some of these old pieces of pottery and everything up. Probably. Maybe it was a sunken ship. Some vases and other types of stuff. Old model of an old type of port. There's a sea turtle right there. It's called a uh, hawk bill sea turtle. Some things they made from, I'm not sure, hawk bill. Maybe they made that from the shell of the turtle. A little bit of substrate right there. Turtle, no, that's not turtle shells, those are just uh, seashells. Painted, possibly. Other types of stuff. Well, look at that. The great age of shipping. Look at this ship. It's a nice looking ship. Sailboat. I think it does some kind of effects. Let's see if I can catch it. Probably does it every few minutes. All right, let's just go quickly over here. Wait, wait, wait for that to happen. Check out this cannon. I really like this cannon. That's not a real window, but it's pointed. The cannon's pointed at the ship right there. All right, check this out. So you have some live stock and meats and stuff like that that they would ship around. I wanna come back to that ship over there. One more corner with some old maps. We have some more ships in the bottles. Really like ships in the bottles. I would really like to make these. Check them out. All right. A few more over here. All right, over here we have some more, lots of information about shipping. Shipping livestock probably right there. Cool old maps where they used to think that there's like sea monsters. There be sea monsters right there, and there, and there. The seas are crawling with these sea monsters. Cool, right? I want a, I want a sea monster for my aquarium. All right, so uh, we'll make this the last little corner. These are different ports around the world where I guess agreements were made to ship to. Port of Sydney, Australia. A port in Belgium, Antwerp, probably not pronouncing that right. Different agreements to ship around the world. Port of Baltimore in America. Port of Fremantle, Fremantle, I'm probably not pronouncing that right either. It's in uh, Australia also. And we got a uh, port of Los Angeles. 
Very cool stuff. Check this boat out right here. Nice wooden ship. But look at that name. Look at the name of this ship. Let me see if I can zoom in there. There we go. Chinese junk. Does that look like junk to you? I wonder why it's called a junk ship. Back there we have another ship that's probably Japanese, old type of ship, 18, 1700 type of ship. And last, well, kind of last, up oh, there is some fish. Looks like a painting of some koi. This is uh, exchanges between the ports of Nagoya and Chinese ports. Agreements, probably. All right, that's just about it. Let me give you one last look up. Oh, went out of focus a little bit there. Sorry about that. Trying to avoid people when I move the camera quickly. It does such things. All right, one more little thing here. I want to visit that last little let me give you another look at the port. This is the real thing, it's not a model. All right. More maps. Come back this way. Real quickly, real quickly. Let's see if I can catch it. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, oh, it's not working. This was working earlier. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tour. This is Aquatics Planet doing an, a Maritime Museum. Oh, there it goes. Maritime Museum tour. Looks real, right? All right, guys. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Aquatics Planet.